Welcome, welcome, warriors. Oli Ferengi here, the game Raid Shadow Legends. Today, Dungeon Challenge 3.6, Bin Keep Stage 7 on Auto. Well, let's have a look at the avatar icons. They are all void, but the actual waves awaiting us, they are all multicolored. This is a particularity of this, uh, of this keep. Item drops, uh, we have green shards, we have blue shards, we have uh, bruise, we have silver, and of course, lesser arcane potion, greater arcane potion, superior arcane potion. Stage 8 is where the greater the superiors begin, and stage 4 is where the greater begin. If you want to farm only the small ones, then uh, basically every stage is good, just stock up on the other ones. Greater Arcane seem to be the hardest to get, Superior, mm, you always get Arcane when you want Superior, you always get Superior when you want to get Arcane, it's, it, it's as if the software knows somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'd say we go back right in, stage 7 here. Alright, what you see on screen right now, uh, Kale substituting for your particular starter, Sniper is in there for Firepower. Spirit Host is there to remove buffs and also to give buffs. Let's have a look at her. Um, that's her heal. And place 50% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. We will need that. Removes all debuffs on all allies, places block debuff buff on all allies for one turn. We also need that. I will show you in a moment why that is. So we have Valerie in here, especially for her shield. Uh, the value uh, of the shield depends on the champion's level. Not so much for the heal, but for the shield, and increases the duration of all debuffs. Decreases the duration of all debuffs on all allies by one turn, and if ascended to three stars or more, increases the duration of all buffs on all allies by one turn. Keep that in mind, because that one will be important in a few seconds. Then we have our free healer. She is not the best, but she too comes. Mm, where is it? Uh, free debuff won't help us. Bosses are immune. She also has the opportunity to place 25% increase attack buff. So Spirit Host and she can both place those buffs. We could also, instead of her using Rock Tooth, Rock Tooth has with a stomp increase C rate. So I'd say we, we take Rock Tooth instead. We just jump right into it. I don't want to make this a very long video since we are not asked to use particular skills. It's one of those interesting challenges where you're left to left on your own devices to find out what is going on in that keep or not. Have a look at the colors, it's multicolored like I told you before. So, next wave, okay, we have defense, we have uh, attack buff, we have shield buff, we have lots of buffs, this is very good, very important, I turn off auto for a moment. Let's have a look. His first skill, Wind Slash, attacks all enemies, inflicts 75% more damage against targets which have no active buffs. So yeah, now you see, if you don't have buffs on your champions, if you don't have a lot of buffers in your team, then you will take three quarters more damage. So, uh, well, it's will it will reduce your survival time by two thirds. Yeah, yeah, get your buffers in there. Last stand, level one, places four turns cooldown, places a 16% increased defense buff and 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns. That's why you've seen on the bottom row, on the champion selection screen, Conqueror and um, Shaman and Skinner to take, off, to take off those buffs. But we take a last look at almighty immunity it's always the same immune to stun freeze sleep provoke block cooldown skills fear true fear also immune to hp exchange effects hp balancing effects and cooldown increasing effects so almighty immunity is the same for all bosses we hit auto again we let that play out now so defensively what you want to do is you want to have a lot of buffers or self buffers in your team now his minions they remove those buffs you've just seen that so um, you want to have plenty of them, as many as you can get in, while still maintaining your firepower. If you have a look at voice, Void Keep or Spirit Keep or Magic Keep, you only need one champion with the particular skill needed. In Arcane, you really should have more than one. In the others, you should have more than one too, but you, need only, you only need one. Here, you literally need 
minimum two, because um, if you can kill those two minions in the first in your in the first turn on round three, then uh, they will remove all the buffs you've placed already, and you will need a second buffer to put them back in. So stage is cleared. Still, stage is cleared. Damage wise, yeah, sniper and kale. Always the best. Uh, it's just have a look at the levels now. Spirit host, she support. She uh, is not a damage dealing champion, but uh, she literally kept us alive, same as Valerie. And um, okay, we go back to uh, edit team. Let's take those buffers out. Kankara, he got buff removal capabilities. Skinner got buff removal capabilities and where is he oh, Skinner Oop. hmm I forgot a champ I think got stuck in the water okay never mind never mind I will look it up I will write it on screen but I think there were shaman right where's the shaman nah. I was just too blind okay never mind those three have uh, buff removal capabilities they can take off the buffs that uh, i can keep boss is applying to himself so if you have for example um but um valerie and spirit host and kankara then uh, you have a nice team if you have skinner instead you have a nice team if you have uh, shaman instead you have a nice team it's those three things you need firepower you need uh, buffs and um if you have the room for it, put in one. He can take off two buffs. Shaman only one. He can take off two buffs. And if you have the room beyond those buffing and, and firepower capabilities, then put in one who is able to remove those buffs. I can keep boss supplying to himself. Yeah, well, that's all that is really about this keep, really about this challenge. The normal approach for most new players would be to simply uh, brute force yourself through it level until you can beat it on auto. Simple as that, so there won't be a short version for it. For everyone who wants to uh, enjoy the game on a little bit deeper level, I make videos like this going a little bit into the dungeon mechanics, telling you what to look out for, what not to do. And I have a growing number of free-to-play videos on my channel all about maximizing your experience by keeping you from wasting resources and making smart and informed decisions and pointing out a few things that are, are going into the little tweaks and perks and all this and uh, anyway um, please do me a favor like share subscribe this is a new channel and for new channel it counts a lot when you see those subscriber numbers and this likes grows really makes me happy and uh, I thank you for giving something back to me, for putting in that time for you. And, well, I wish you good luck for whatever you do. Whatever you do in life, always make the best out of it. Ferengi signing out.